Hi everybody, I'm Demon, and welcome to hell. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of pipe fab for an oil tanker, a little pump modification and resetting for some lines. Uh, today's process, I'm going to be using a 3 inch schedule of 40 pipe and schedule 80 connections, doing some transitions, as well as the process that we're going to be using is SMAW. So 6010 root and 7018 fill and cap. Why am I choosing SMAW as a process? Because that's the ones I held valid V pressure certifications in, and that's a standard up in here in this industry. So a V pressure ticket is a high pressure ticket here in Alberta, where we do a practical test, and then it's either bent or x-rayed to prove its strength or procedure test. I've had my B pressure now for 20 years, along with my journeyman and structural certifications for 20 years. So, come with me and I'll show you a little bit of pipe fat. I've got my uh, three inch skid 40 tacked up to my three inch skid 80 nipples that I got to weld out. Um, getting ready to uh, use 6011 as my root. We'll put the root in and fill the cap and go on to the next one.
What are you doing? That's fine. Finishing off my cap. Like a good little welder.
See here is one of the lineup tools that I use to fit my 90s to my pups. Um, it's nice to clamp it down so I can tack it up. Uh, so right now I'm just going to throw in a bridge tack. Um, and then I'll set it up and run a root, weld it out, and then throw it onto the 90 grabber. And put on my flange from my other side. And that's the final step for all the small components, and then we'll start assembly in our spool section. That's when it gets interesting. Thank <laughs> you. 
get on the level here. Were you just dance welding? Thank you. 
Now this will give you a better idea of what uh, what I'm building here. Uh, this is a short little spool connecting to a uh, oil pump, so a heavy crude oil pump for a tanker. Uh, so this is going to either to the side or the bottom, obviously the output. And here's connection for your valve and another valve. So that's all the little pieces put together. Now we're going to start, uh, we'll take this piece of pipe tack her up to the T and the short pup and then tack this other T together and get these all welded out. Um, then we'll possibly position this one and then this one or vice versa. And then we'll, uh, then we have to position our counterweights and we're gonna roll this whole thing. So I don't wanna have any position welds, I wanna see if I can roll it all. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I have one more fitting once it's all done. This one inch here uh, goes just out on the side for a clean out. That's that. And then that spool is uh, ready to go and he'll fit it and come back with some more measurements on what else he wants to do. Gotta make sure you uh, Use your counter weights to properly balance it when you rotate it. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to bend it all the way around. So let's uh, walk around.
that little video of pipe fabbing. This is the pup that we've made today for an oil tanker. We've got our pump connection to our flange or valve connections and our other pups. So another day's work done. Thanks for watching. I'm Demon and I'll see you in hell.